What's up guys, Scoot here and today we're back with another episode of Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. In today's episode we're going to be doing our 9 star urgent quest I believe, or 8 star. 8 star. Um, the Nargakuga. So, I'm hoping this goes fairly well. Uh, Nargakuga isn't like super hard. Um, I might need to get used to it again though in this game. So this morning uh, I went and I went to turn my fan off so that way I record without having it in the background. And when I reached over to turn the fan off, apparently there was a wasp on the uh, switch. And it stung me, so my thumb's a little sore right now. But I'm still gonna try this. So that's Nargakuga. Uh, he's one of my favorite monsters in this game, I'd have to say. Uh, not only is his, his fight pretty fun, he's also pretty cool looking, in my opinion. Uh, he's weak to thunder and fire. Um, Obviously I am using Thunder right now because my Thunder Longsword is stronger than my Fire one. He might also even be actually weaker to Thunder. You can also use Sonic Bombs on him uh, whenever he's like getting ready to jump around. It'll, it'll knock him over but also put him in Rage. One of the best things about this guy is it's pretty easy to roll through most of his attacks. Um, his hitboxes feel a bit more fair than other monsters. His roar is even fairly easy to roll through. Um, it's just it takes some getting used to. And you, you gotta know the timing on it also. Like like with most roars, I think there are some roars you just can't uh, roll through because the frame is too. The, there's too many frames of actual roar animation. Or. This guy's a fairly short roar though, so... He's pretty quick, um... And he, he does a decent amount of damage. He's not super, super hard. There are certainly harder monsters than him. Tigrex. Tigrex is pretty hard. Tigrex probably even moves more than this guy does. So I don't know exactly know how long this is going to take. Um, I don't think it should take super long. Uh, Eager Cleaver is pretty strong against this guy. As long as I'm able to keep up my uh, spirit combos and whatnot, it should go fairly smooth. 
I guess the hardest thing about this guy is that he can combo stuff, um, like, fairly quickly, and then catch you off guard, especially because in this game you, you don't have the lay down uh, invincibility frames, or if you just lay there, he can't hit you. I also didn't paintball him, so... Um, I really hope he just came here. Oh, there's Shacklock here, that sucks. So I talked a lot about the small monsters probably being harder than the large monsters, or making the game harder than some of the large monsters. And that's especially true with the Shacklock. I don't think I've actually ever covered them very much. But they're they're really tough. They throw I think that's a sleep or poison bombs. And on their own, they just, they still do lots of damage, actually. Compared to, like, other small monsters. Uh, there's a King Shakalaka also, which I think counts the large monster. And, uh, he is also... He has a lot more health than you would think, and he hits way harder than you would think. Like one of the one of the village quests, uh, one of Netcoat's quests has has him in the arena with a bunch of little shakalaka, and he does more damage than this guy does. Uh, he probably does like uh, either a third or a half of my health bar with each of his hits. Try and cut off the tail. Okay, yeah. I don't know how close this guy is going to be. I figure I still probably have about eight or nine minutes left. Uh, before he'll actually go down. Maybe not. Uh, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. I've already used six Mega Potions now, so that kind of sucks. Still getting used to how uh, quick he moves. Pretty sure he's quicker even in this game than he is in later games. I wish uh, I had, like, a Wii U. Oh, okay, so he's limping, so it won't be too much longer. Um, because uh, I could probably borrow my brother's capture card and record some 3 Ultimate. I would like to record 3 Ultimate. Because, well, I do plan on doing a portable third Let's Play. Um, 3 Ultimate just has more. It's got a G rank and G rank monsters and stuff. So I don't think he's leaving, I think he just sleeps up in the trees. Might be wrong though. Okay, so here's a problem. I hit him 
because I thought it would make him get out of a rage mode, but I guess if you're just in the area while he's asleep, he'll wake up. kind of hate monsters that do that. It's kind of a cheap move. Because then you can't get the three times damage on the wake up hit. But yeah, that was Darn Kuga. It was actually not that difficult. Um, Nargakuga isn't a super difficult monster in this game, like I said. he He's not, like, super easy like a Kutku is, but he's fun. And that's the most important thing about Nargakuga to me is that he actually is a fun fight. Um, some of the monsters are not. Anyways, that's going to be it for today's episode. I know it's kind of short. It's only 10 minutes, but I hope you guys enjoyed anyways, and I'll see you next time.